Hello, in this presentation I will talk about the Mian robot, a low-cost 3 degrees of freedom robot with a gripper. In particular, I will explain how to implement a point-to-point -point control. The aims of the presentation are to show the robot dimensions that I will use to compute the inverse kinematics to obtain joint values to reach a given target point of the gripper. The computation of the inverse kinematics is carried out using purely geometric methods which will greatly simplify the complexity of the computations and therefore uh, it can be implemented in real time with a low cost microcontroller such as Arduino. At the end of the presentation, I will explain how to program the robot to perform a point to point control. Keep in mind that in order to follow with this presentation, it is recommended that you have completed the task in the videos related with the coordinated axis control of this robot. In this table, I include the dimensions of the robot with the most relevant parameters that will be used to obtain the inverse kinematic of the robot. For your information, the robot can reach approximately a maximum of 200 mm from the center of the robot base to its maximum extension. Here you have a tight view with the rest of the robot dimensions. The maximum height that the robot can reach is approximately 160 mm, while in some configurations the robot is capable of touching the floor with the gripper. We will solve the inverse kinematic of the robot in three parts. In the first part we compute Q1. Then we compute angles Q2 and Q3O and finally we will compute the angle Q3. We can compute angle Q1 as a sum of two angles. The first is the arm angle given the x and y coordinates of the gripper subtracting the amount L0 from x because it's just an offset of the robot base. The second angle we add to Q1 is a small correction due to the displacement D5 of the gripper, which is not fully centered with the robot arm. Once Q1 is computed, we can also compute the gripper position with respect to the reference frame 0. Then the coordinates Q2 and Q3O are computed from basic trigonometry relationships based on the well-known coplanar problem. First, we need to compute the distance r from the gripper coordinates. Later, we compute the height ze with these two values, then we can compute the values for alpha and s, since they form a right angle triangle. Once s is known, then we notice that all sides forming the triangle uh, L2, L3 and S are known and therefore we can use the cosine theorem to provide us uh, the values for the angles beta and gamma. Once these angles are known, computing Q2 and Q3O are obtained from a linear uh, relation or expressions as shown. Finally, in order to compute uh, the joint angle Q3 from the previous values Q2 and Q3, we need again to use the cosine theorem. We can compute the distance E, which corresponds to the diagonal shown in the figure. Once this distance is known, the angle C is obtained from a single trigonometric relationship, and also the angle phi, which can be computed, again using the cosine theorem which leads us to compute the angle Q3 with the linear relationship from the previous uh, computed angles. In point-to-point -point control, the target point to reach is indicated in Cartesian coordinates instead of joint coordinates as before. For that reason, I have created a new data type to include the position to reach. Also, I have created another data type with the robot dimensions these two data types will be used as part of the required input data to compute the inverse kinematic of the robot. In the video on the right, you can see a representative simulation of the point-to-point -point control, where the points to reach are indicated with positions of the dummies. As you can see, the trajectories are being generated in the robot joint space. 
To reproduce this example, you must implement the equations associated with the robot inverse kinematics so that from, from a target position and the robot dimension parameters, this should return the joint configuration that corresponds to that position. Please implement the move J instruction resembling the rapid instruction under the same name. This instruction must include as input arguments the target position, but also as additional input arguments also includes the servo variables to know exactly which or how to move each of the servos and also the current robot configuration with the vector Q0 or with the rate Q0. The move J function will indeed call the inverse kinematic function that can be implemented as a separated function. And then once the target configuration is obtained, the move J function will call the move apps J function that I previously explained in another video. In this presentation, I have explained how to implement the point-to-point -point control on the Mian robot. Thank you very much.